Welcome back to another 40 facts about the 40k universe. Today we're doing something a little different. Um, I'm sorry guys, I lied to you. This isn't a 40 fact video, it's a 35 fact video on the old ones. I couldn't find 40 facts. I felt that I just kept getting repetitive and I was stretching facts out. So I was only able to do 35 and even with those 35 I feel like I repeated myself a couple times. Uh, there's just so little lore on the old ones, they're so mysterious. Um, and of course, if you're watching the Necron 40 facts video, a lot of these facts are shared because they lived at around the same time. And you can't really talk about the old ones without talking about the Necrons. Um, but with that said, comment down below if you guys have any other cool information about the old ones. If you guys read up on any codexes from the past or anything like that, please comment down below. Let's enjoy the next 35 facts about the Old Ones. Fact number one, the Old Ones is not a playable race in the Warhammer 40k universe. They are the first sentient beings of the Milky Way galaxy known to have developed a civilization that was technologically advanced enough to cross the stars. Much of the history of modern 40k races can be traced back to the Old Ones. Fact number two, the Old Ones are a cold-blooded reptilian race of beings that possess deep wisdom and advanced science in the field of astronomy and physics. Many have speculated that they resemble the Lizardmen of the Warhammer fantasy game. Fact number three, the fourth edition Eldar Codex as well as some of the Death Watch supplements claim that the Old Ones were actually a group of the earliest races who all worked together rather than one race, but this was not seen in the later publications. Fact number four, the title of Old Ones was given to them by the Eldar. Their true name is unknown. One could ask a Necron, but chances are they would simply disintegrate you with a Gauss weapon if you tried. Fact number five, such was the understanding of the universe that the Old Ones could manipulate alternate dimensions and undertake great works of psychic engineering. Fact number six, their biggest accomplishment was the creation of a series of warp gates that connected the worlds of the galaxy in a vast network similar to but much bigger than the Eldar webway. Fact number seven, warp gates are used as corridors to travel through the immaterium instantaneously, moving between pairs of warp gates established on many planets across the galaxy. Fact number eight, at the time, the Immaterium was unaffected by the psychic emissions of other intelligent races, since there were so few, and so it was a calm and steady realm of existence exploited by the Old Ones. Fact number nine, the Old Ones had spread throughout the galaxy, but they had understood that all life was precious. They seeded new intelligent species and reshaped thousands of worlds to make them their own according to the predetermined environmental and geographical criteria. Fact number 10, the Old Ones were responsible for the creation or genetic advancement of most of the current active intelligent species of the galaxy, including Eldar, the Orc Precursor, the Krork, the Slan, and humans. Fact number 11, their wisdom was so advanced that they had discovered the secret of immortality, a secret that would later lead to their conflict with the Necron Tear, the precursor to the Necron race and the war in heaven. Fact number 12, the Old One civilization reached its height over 60 million years ago. Fact number 13, after encountering the humanoid species known as the Necron Tear, the Necron Tear declared war on the Old Ones in order to unify and spread their empire. For more info on the race that would turn into the Necrons, check out our Necron 40 Facts video. Fact number 14, the Old Ones are said to have biologically engineered the race known as Krork. Their purpose was to fight the Necron race during the War in Heaven. This race would later become the Orcs. For more information on the Orcs, check out our 80 facts on the Orcs. Fact number 15, it was called the War in Heaven because of the strange and powerful weapons used by both sides during the conflict. It made it appear as if the gods were fighting one another. 
Fact number 16. The Necron tier were constantly outmaneuvered by the old ones thanks to their mastery of the warp gates. Fact number 17. The Necron tier were pushed back until they were little more than an irritation to the old ones. The old ones were far more advanced than the Necron tier. I interrupt this broadcast to say thank you so much for watching. Like I said, um, I felt like I was really stretching these facts, but I hope you're enjoying while you paint your awesome miniatures. So let's get back to the facts. Fact number 18, the Necron tier searched for a weapon to use against the old ones. They found the Catan. These were ethereal beings of pure energy who fed on solar energy of the star. Fact number 19, in a strange twist, the Necron tier were turned into slaves made of living metal by the Catan and used to wage war against the old ones. Fact number 20, to combat their terrible foes, the old ones also created new warrior races to battle them, including the Eldar, the Roshan, the Kegnib. To learn more about the Eldar race, check out the Eldar 40 Facts video. Fact number 21, knowing that the Catan were vulnerable to psychic energies, the old ones designed their warrior species to be psychically linked to the Immaterium. Fact number 22, the introduction of these warlike and psychic races into the galaxy had a side effect of warping the Immaterium. The war, pain, suffering, and destruction of the galaxy unleashed during the conflict was reflected in the Immaterium literally changing its nature into that of the current chaotic and hostile psychic dimension called the warp. Number 23, the innocuous entities which had naturally existed in the Immaterium were twisted into ferocious and hostile predators, creating the gods and the demons of chaos. Fact number 24, one such group of beings called the Enslavers, managed to discover a way to force entry into the material realm and begin to psychically enslave huge number of sentient beings as physical gateways through which they could bring more of their kind into the physical universe to feed. Fact number 25, the old ones were ultimately devastated by the aftershock of what their psychically active creations did to the warp and are now believed to have either gone extinct or fled the galaxy. Fact number 26, there are some people that believe that the old ones devolved into a race known as the Slan, which resemble humanoid frogs with an Aztec Mayan-like culture. Fact number 27, although no longer concerned with the galactic affairs and existing in a much more primal state, some Slan colonies maintain their advanced technology and knowledge. There are records in their history of their ancestors interacting with primitive humans and Eldar. Fact number 28. There are other accounts that say that the Slan was actually a servant race of the Old Ones that created some of the major races in the 40k universe on behalf of the Old Ones. Fact number 29, in this account there were five generations of Slan spawned by the old ones. The Slan of the first generation have all died off, many likely killed in the war between the old ones and the Necrons. This outcome is very similar to the origins of the Slan as told in the mythology of the Warhammer fantasy game. Fact number 30, another speculation is that the Old Ones are the same Old Ones that the Lizardmen worship in the Warhammer Fantasy Universe, as in the Lizardmen Army book it states that the Old Ones came from the stars and discovered the Warhammer world, then proceeded to terraform it and create intelligent races. Fact number 31, another speculation is that the Old Ones are supposed to be identical to the Brain Boys, the creators of the Orcs. Fact number 32, some of the less well-known races created by the Old Ones share a story in their religious beliefs that tell of the last of the Old Ones that left the galaxy 500,000 years ago, promising to return to fight the Catan once again. His name was Ka. Fact number 33, the 3rd edition Necron Codex promoted using Lizardmen figures from the Warhammer Fantasy line to represent the Old Ones. Fact number 34, reinforcing the previous fact, 
The old ones were described as coming from space, even in the 8th edition fantasy rulebook, strengthening the connection from both the fantasy and the Warhammer 40k universe. Fact number 35. Old ones in the Warhammer 40,000 universe may be influenced by the old ones of the HP Lovecraft mythos. The term old ones often applies to the great old ones or the elder things which created life on earth in the HP Lovecraft mythos. If you don't know who HP Lovecraft is, I recommend you looking up a documentary on YouTube on HP Lovecraft. And those were 40 facts about the old ones. Well, they were really 35 facts, but we're not going to get into that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And like I said, if you guys have any um, cool uh, facts or cool information about the old ones that I did not mention, please comment it down below. And thank you guys so much for being awesome and sharing this video. Uh, of course, go check out our Necron 40 Facts video. There's a part one, a part two, well, there's multiple parts to the Necron video, but part one and part two talk a lot about the old ones and the war in heaven. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want us to continue to put out awesome 40K videos, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.